Hello, my name is Eva Bo, and I'm a senior researcher at the Swiss Center for Affective Sciences at the University of Geneva. I study how our brain works when we want to obtain a reward. And this is important because it could help us understand several psychological disorders, such as binge eating or substance addiction. So, let's look at our question. How do we measure emotions? To measure an emotion in a person, we give them something that we know can create an emotional response. For instance, we present a person that is hungry with the smell of a delicious food. Importantly, emotional responses do not just take place in the person's brain. What characterizes an emotional response is that it's made up of multiple components. We usually take several types of measurements, targeting each one of these components within the same person. We can start by measuring the emotional response in their body. Does their heart begin to pound? Do they begin to sweat? Do their pupil dilate? These responses are happening all over the body. We call these autonomic responses. Next, we can measure their emotional response in their action tendencies. Do they approach the source or do they avoid it? Finally, in recent years, we began to measure what our face can tell us about our emotion. When we feel an emotion, there's subtle changes in the muscle that creates the facial expressions. These movements can indicate what kind of emotion we're having. The changes are sometimes impossible to see with the naked eye, but we can measure them using electrodes. These three components of the emotional response can be measured using high-tech equipment. However, there is one more way that is cheap and simple. We simply ask, how do you feel? Is it a positive feeling? How strong is this feeling? Of course, they need to be answering honestly, and everyone has a different ability to know how they're feeling. But this information can help us understand the experience of a subjective feeling. So, there you have it. This is how we measure emotion. If you're interested in finding out more, we put some links in the description of this video.